Good morning, my name is Doug Ullman and I'm standing here in the northern part of the Antietam battlefield. And in, on September 17th, 1862, this battlefield essentially acted as a class reunion for the West Point class of 1846. As many as a dozen members of that class will take part in the Maryland campaign, uh, including the commander of the Union Army of the Potomac, George B. McClellan, who graduated second in the class of 1846. Other members include Thomas J Stonewall Jackson, just fighting on the other side uh, of the battlefield here, as well as both, two of the three brigade commanders of the Pennsylvania Reserves, Truman Seymour and Albert McGilton, both members of the class of 1846. If you've seen the movie Glory, you know that scene where the 2nd Massachusetts with Robert Gould Shaw charges towards the West Woods. Well, that brigade was commanded by George Gordon, another member of the class of 1846. And that's just on the Union side so far. In addition to Stonewall Jackson, there is D.R. Rumpf Jones, who's commanding the troops over by the Burnside Bridge. Another member of the class of 1846, and he will die uh, of heart failure just, a few, just uh, shortly after the battle. Um, there are other members of that class that are involved in the campaign, but not necessarily here on the battlefield. Uh, Darius Couch, who will later command the Union Army's 2nd Corps, now commanding the 4th Corps. He's not on the field, but he's moving around as part of this campaign, as is George Stoneman, another 1846er. Uh, all, all of them part of this part of this campaign. Uh, but perhaps the most famous uh, member not in the class of 1846 who's going to have a huge day here at Antietam is uh, Ambrose Powell Hill, who entered West Point with the class of 1846, but due to some personal issues had to take a year off and didn't graduate until the next year, 1847. Which means he's going to graduate with a number of other people who are also fighting here at Antietam, including John Gibbon, who's going to fight right here in this part of the woods, as well as Ambrose Burnside, who uh, the other Ambrose who Hill is going to defeat on, in the final attack at Antietam. So again, uh, we have a lot of 1846ers here at this battlefield, and it's one of those interesting stories about how these men who knew each other are going to fight one another on the field here at Antietam.